This is Kira and Tyson. And it's Fan Friday. What's up, girlies? It's time for Fan Friday. That was a funny face, Memphis. Cassie had a fun question. Cassie says, there aren't a lot of huskies out here in Arizona. When we take our dog to the dog park, he seems to be much more noisy than other dogs. Surprise, surprise. And people often mistake him as being aggressive. Have you ever had this problem with anyone around your dogs? And what do you think is the proper response for people who tell me I need to control him because he, for whatever reason, feels the need to talk to their dog as he's playing? This is one of the common... Uh, misconceptions I guess it would be about huskies they are big time talkers and that is probably where are we all going into the bathroom you can't take a bath um this is probably one of the harder things to explain to non-husky owners that huskies are very vocal you know a lot of dogs when they play they just use their mouth and use their feet huskies also use their voice when they play as of course you and most people know you know, you can try to explain it to them, but a lot of times they're not going to understand it. When we used to take our girls to the dog park, it was the same type of thing. Some people thought they were being too rough. Some people thought they were being aggressive. And we just did our best to try to explain to them that that wasn't what it was. And, I mean, that's pretty much all you can really do. Sarah wants to know, how old were your dogs when they started to pull a sled? Well, Memphis was eight months old. Shelby was... Three, I think when we got our kick sled when we got our first kick sled oh, this big yellow thing is a light to help light up my room and Oakley was about eight or so I don't know where she went she disappeared Dean says what made you decide on the husky breed instead of one of the other snow dog breeds such as Malamutes or Samoyeds or Chinook um I don't know that was just what started it Shiloh was our first husky and we kind of just stuck with it doesn't mean we won't ever get a different snow dog breed, but for now, we have huskies. Kira says, we live in Vegas and our dog is an inside dog. Any tips on keeping him cool? Ever given a husky a haircut? Don't give a husky a haircut. Don't shave a husky. Don't, don't cut their fur. That doesn't make them any cooler. They need that fur to keep insulated in the cold, just like they need it to keep insulated in the warm. I mean, in the warm and the cold. Yes. Their coat protects them in both the heat and the cold temperature. Is this where you're going to sit? You're going to take up the whole screen with the back of your little head? Silly thing. Um, tips for keeping them cool. Make sure you have fans. Air conditioning is great. Making ice treats like uh, chi freezing chicken broth in ice cubes. Putting ice cubes in their water. Making homemade doggy ice cream. All of those types of things will help keep your dog cool. Oh, the door on Oakley's kennel is shut. <laughs> She's pouting. I don't think I can pronounce this name right. I Shelley wants to know, can you still train elderly dogs to listen and learn new things? Or what could be the problem that they don't listen? Well, stubborn dogs don't like to listen. Older dogs do take a little bit more patience and a little bit more persistence to train, but dogs can be trained at any age. It doesn't matter if they're young or old. Sometimes you just have to be a little bit more patient with older dogs. Tiffany wants to know, where does the name Gone to the Snow Dogs come from? That's a good question. I, I think we may have been asked that once a long time ago. Our name actually came from when I was trying to figure out what to name our YouTube channel. You know, people had always told us that we'd gone to the dogs because we had two dogs instead of having um, two-legged children. We had four-legged children. And I kind of just took that and then took the fact that I love snow and that they're snow dogs. And we ran with Gone to the Snow Dogs. It sounded cool. I thought it was kind of catchy, and I used it a few times, and after that, it just stuck. That's pretty much how we came up with Gone to the Snow Dogs. Diane says, in your sled racing videos, what other breeds of dogs were used? Uh, most of you guys noticed in the video we put up on Monday and Wednesday that all of those dogs pulling sleds were not the Siberian Huskies that you guys are so used to seeing. Most racers don't use Siberian Huskies anymore in like professional races because they're not fast. I mean, they're fast, but they're not as fast as they could be when you're racing for prize money. They mostly use Alaskan Huskies, which are basically a mixed breed of Husky. They breed a bunch of different dogs together to get the fastest dog they can. Um, and they're called Alaskan Huskies. Some people, you know, at that race, I saw some German short-haired pointers. Really, there are all different kinds of breeds of dogs. I've seen a team of labs pulling a sled. So 
you guys were all right. They definitely were not all Siberian Huskies. There was some teams of Siberian Huskies, and we will see some more dog sled teams this weekend that we will take video of. Playing with Big Dog says, how do you capture such fantastic motion shots of your dogs? Do you use, where does it say, do you shoot in manual or do you use a specific setting? Honestly, on most of my cameras, I just have them set to auto. I don't really have a very fancy camera, believe it or not. <laughs> um, I don't know how I managed to capture them. I think part of taking video is the camera, but the bigger part of taking video is the person behind the camera, the artistic of the person being able to capture what I envision in my head that the video is going to look like. I think that's a big part of it too. Andy says, this isn't really dog related, but have you ever thought about doing a Fan Friday on your Without the Snow Dogs channel? Actually, we've talked about doing that, but doing it more as a once a month Friday thing instead of an every Friday thing over there. The problem sometimes can be Jamie and I both sitting down together to answer questions. We're both always so busy with work that sometimes that can be a little bit more difficult to do. I guess we're going to stare at fluffy, fluffy Oakley butt. Um, but it is something we've talked about. That was one of the reasons we did the live show, was to see if people would really be interested in it. And they seem to have a lot of fun with it. So eventually, we may start doing something like that. Shannon wants to know, would you ever race with your dogs? Possibly. This year in Alpena, the shortest race is 4.1 miles. And I think that's too far for Oakley to run. But I think if Shelby and Memphis were trained up well enough, they could probably do it by themselves, pulling just me. So, I don't know, maybe. Or maybe one day Jamie will do the skiing thing with them. We'll see. Mary wants to know, Did you have any trouble getting any of your girls to ride in your Jeep Wrangler when you have the netting on the back? Mine loves to ride, but is afraid if there isn't a window. Um, well, the netting kind of acts like a great big giant window. We've never had a problem getting any of our girls to ride in the Jeep. They all love it, especially when the net is on it because it's, you know, complete. It's like having a whole vehicle open because it really is. So we've never really had a problem with them riding in it. Even when we have the hard top on, they, they love going for RIDEs in the Jeep. If you say ride, Shelby might, oh, she didn't catch it because I didn't say want to go, so... Oh, I see you looking at me. <laughs> Catherine says, how do you pick your questions? Um, there's a couple ways. I usually read them. If I understand them, then I try to look at the name. If it's a question that I've, if it's a name I recognize, then I know I've answered questions from before. I try to maybe look at the other questions first. If it's a really long, drawn out answer that I know I'm going to have to give, I usually notate those down and think that would make a good you know, full video on its own, not just a Fan Friday video. Um, the other thing is time. I can't make these videos really, really long because not everybody has an hour to watch videos, so I try to make them, well now I'm making them around like 10 to 12 minutes. That's kind of my goal time for these videos. And then I also look at how many times has this question been asked. If it's a question that I just answered last week that somebody asked again this week, you know, I try not to answer the same questions every week. But it's, if it's a question that I was asked a month ago, I may answer it again because we are constantly getting new viewers and new subscribers and they may not necessarily go back and watch all 600 of our videos. So that's kind of a little bit of an insight onto how we answer our questions. We take the majority of our questions from Facebook. I do try to take them from Twitter also. I know a lot of you guys message me questions. When I go to do these videos, I don't always have a lot of time. So sometimes I forget to actually go back and check my email. Sometimes when you guys email me, when I have time, I actually just directly answer you instead of answering them through a Fan Friday. I also try to answer the majority of the questions we get in letters. So when people write us a letter, if they put a question in a letter, I try to answer all those in video also. We got some mail. We got some mail. We got some mail from Linda. She sent us a bunch of photos with like mock-ups of bracelets and stuff of all the dogs, which are pretty cool. Oh, got that over there. There's one of Oakley. There's one of us. Those are definitely pretty cool. We got a letter from Cassie Cassidy P7 on YouTube. There's a picture of Cassidy. She sent us these cool ornaments. And yes, Jamie did open this with me. Um, and she wants to know, she said she had to get rid of two of her dogs, and she wants to know, do you have any suggestions on how not to miss them so much? Maybe... Maybe you can go to an animal shelter and play with some animals there that might be lonely. Maybe that might help you feel a little bit better. I don't know. Do you guys have any suggestions on how to help her not miss her dog so much that she had to give away? 
leave in the comments below. Look! My little pony huskies! Oh my god, this is the cutest thing ever. A couple of you have sent me these. Um, this one is from Cassie? No, Chelsea! Chelsea's her name. Cassie was the last person. Chelsea drew the dogs in My Little Pony fashion, just like I asked. That is awesome. I love this. This I love how you have Shiloh with wings. This is pretty cute. I absolutely love it. And we got a letter from Alexa with a drawing of the girls doing agility. And they want to know, will Memphis learn agility? She's way over there. Uh, I haven't seen Shelby doing agility. Did she give up on it? No, we had intentions to make more of a course in our yard this year. The place where we used to go for agility uh, isn't open anymore. and We just didn't have the time to make more items for our course. But I have a list of things I want to do for this year, and I hope to make some more course items during the winter months so that when spring gets here, we can practice with Shelby and with Memphis. And Oakley can be a spectator. She's a good spectator. And we got another letter with a drawing of the girls, but I don't know who it's from. It doesn't say on the letter or on the envelope. And we got a letter and some drawings from Elizabeth, and Elizabeth wants to know if we're going to be making another treat video. Yes, we will eventually be making another treat video. And Elizabeth also says, I have a Cata Catalua leopard hound dog. How do I know if it's a mix or not? Well, if it's a Catalua leopard hound dog, I would assume it's probably not a mix. And there's Shiloh with wings. That's all we have for Fan Friday today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. This weekend, there are sled dog races in Alpena, Michigan at the Alpena Sportsman's Club. We are going to get some footage and some video. If you are in the area or can make it up to Alpena, go check it out. You might see us there. We'll be there for part of the day at least, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Other than that, if you wanted to see some sled dog race videos, we put one up on Monday and Wednesday this week. Those were from Kalkaska Winterfest that we went to this past weekend. That's pretty much all we have. I have to go get some more work done. Work is never done. I have to figure out a better place to put this light. I'm sitting on this side of the living room today because as you can tell, there's a little bit of a disaster zone going on over here. We're moving some things around and I just kept running out of time and I'm like, well, I'll sit on this side of the living room today. <laughs> thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big. We'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.